yes, even I sometimes need directions. I've been managing my light pretty well in the garage lately. So what's happening is I'm going from this dark space that's lit correctly for the camera and then going outside where it's blaring sunlight and my eyes can't keep up. It takes a long time for them to adjust. It's like staring at the sun every time I go outside. I got my motorcycle parts in. Got my directions printed off. We're ready to rock. Jake and I had problems with the last set of points that I purchased, so I ended up buying ones that looked similar to the original ones. Hopefully these work out a little better than the last ones. Probably shouldn't have done that. Here's my 2017, I mean 1979 GS1000. It has a couple problems. The biggest problem at the moment is it doesn't have spark. And trust me when I say this, that is a very big problem. This is where I'm going to have to do a little bit of explaining. As I'm sure you didn't miss, Jake the Toilet Snake came down. We tried to get this thing to get spark. The only problem was, is after we removed this cover, we found out that this was all jerry-rigged. And it still is jerry-rigged. We tried to put points on this thing that I purchased, but after trying to put them on this plate, the left side worked. The right side, however, wouldn't clear the shaft here. That not happening, I had to buy a new set. There, there was no way we could go around that. First thing I'm going to do is make that plate fit and look a lot better than it already is. It looks like Mickey Mouse got a hold of it. And if we want this thing to work right the first time, we may as well have it fit right too. So I have the first bolt locked into my vise. I have a nut on the bolt. So once I take off a little bit of it, I can ride that nut up the rest of the bolt. and I'm going back home. I had to pick up some bolts. On my small journey, I managed to get a gnat in my eye. Prince, what the heck are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Just chillaxing? Enjoying the weather? So I have good news and bad news. The good news is, is I believe I have all the screws I need. The bad news, I have an insect in my eye. This is when I'm going to have to read the instructions. I have everything bolted down, everything connected. Now I just have to specifically time exactly how this thing gives the engine spark. Because this is an older machine, it has this whole setup. This whole setup is a waste of time. That's why they design stuff newer and better so you don't have to do this anymore. I've never done anything points or condenser related on an older bike like this with four cylinders. The only points and condensers I've ever worked with went to a lawnmower. That only had one set of points and one condenser where this one has two. That's why I'm going back to school and going to read these directions. Points are a huge pain in the butt. That's why they did away with them. It's kind of like the Flintstones. Like this would be the Flintstones rig back in the day. Like we've developed over the years. Saying that this is such a pain, I've actually called up another mechanic and tried to schedule an appointment. He's closed right now, so I'm going to continue to take this apart. But as you guys know, this bike didn't come with a key. So I have to actually figure out how to hot start this thing for now. Okay, this is about the only thing I'm going to be able to teach you. So right here, it says, ho, Battery, TL, ML. I would say ML is the main light, TL is tail light, and HO. I'm only gonna show you this because I have faith that I have very, very good subscribers, very loyal subscribers that wouldn't uh, use this technique to steal a car or steal a motorcycle or a GS1000. Now on the back of this switch here, I have a battery and I have this, it says HO on there. 
Well, when I take this wire here and connect those two and then hit my start button, it'll start. That means I won't have to buy a key and that's good because I don't want to buy a key because I don't want to use this ignition anyways. I just want like a toggle switch or something simple. Well, I've done everything I can do. I'm sick of this jigsaw puzzle. I mean, obviously if I kept trying and trying and trying, I would eventually get it. It's just how many hours and how many days will it take me? I don't want to be like Edison and just try it 10,000 times or a thousand times or however many times she tried the light bulb. I want to just, here, use my resources, pay somebody some money and take care of it so we can get to the next process. Saying that, I'm going to try to schedule an appointment, get this thing taken care of. Now, the day was a failure if we only looked at the GS, but what you guys didn't see is my girlfriend and I worked on my Teespring store. We made that real classy, real fly, real froggy fresh. So even if you don't want to buy any merch right now, if you could just check out the link in the description and just, you know, check out the page, let us know what you think in the comment section. We would really appreciate it a lot. And it was nice to get out and do a little bit of hiking. Somebody must have rolled this down the hill way back in the day. Like way back in the day. It looks like it's got the same freaking chips. Looks like it's got the same exhaust as Danny's truck, kind of. It definitely looks like it's been sitting for a while, though. You find all sorts of cool stuff when you start hiking. These trails are nice for dirt bikes. Look at this. Can you imagine having a bike on this? No. It'd be a good time. He's like a mini dinosaur. I think he was honestly taking a nap. His feet were like tucked into his body. Uh, get on the sleeve. Making the world a better place. One inch worm at a time. You guys missed an awesome spill. I tried to take out a log and the log broke too easily. And I just completely rolled down like half the hell. It was so cool, I didn't even use my hands. I rolled like a movie star, like a stunt double. Hey, we did kayak down this. We we came from the left over there. Yeah, I know we did. My grandpa and my uncle, Dylan, there used to be a rock right over there, and they tried to take uh, an aluminum canoe down the down this whole thing, uh -huh. and they ended up wrapping it around that rock. They had to walk home. So they donated that canoe to this creek. They're lucky they didn't get wrapped around the rock with it. GS, I needed that hike. You're stressing me out. I like my bikes like I like my women. Easy going. What about you? I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I'm going to try to make some headway in a different way. Thanks for stopping in. I hope you guys enjoyed your time. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. I'll try to wreak a little bit more havoc tomorrow. See you guys. I'm sorry about the video quality in this video. I pushed the wrong buttons on my camera and the entire time it didn't want to focus on my face. I think I have that fixed. And also I want to thank everybody for tuning into the live stream and, and the people that helped. I really appreciate it. This video was actually edited on a new computer. So it's, it's working. It's great. Thank you very much. Stay froggy fresh. Until tomorrow, 3D Machines out. <laughs>